योगी राम सूरत कुमार की घाय योगी राम सूरत कुमार योगी राम सूरत कुमार योगी राम सूरत कुमार जय गुरु राया योगी राम सूरत कुमार योगी राम सूरत कुमार योगी राम सूरत कुमार जय गुरु राया
It's a great fortune that we have been able to sing His powerful name for one hour in this powerful shrine. With grateful pranams, we have offered the Nama lotuses at the lotus feet of Bhagwan. We shall now offer our today's prayer. Bhagwan, we beg you, as we have always been begging again and again and again, a million, million times, for your immediate divine intervention to bring forth to the world a dharmic normalcy in all aspects of life. Bhagwan, where there is disharmony and chaos, please bring harmony and order. Where there is killer competition, 
please bring forth healthy competition. And instead of growing enmity between people and people and religion and religion, and country and country, creating even a war atmosphere, please establish peace, unity, and mutual understanding and help, and above all, the violence of nature can come only under your control, and we beg you to do the same. We also beg you to approve, remove all the negativities of the human mind which are responsible for today's world. And Bhagwan, please reach out to all those people who have been stranded in varied places all over the world for some reason or the other, be it their past karma or the present karma. Please give them all the help that's needed and protection. We also beg you to help and protect all those unselfish people who have been doing hard work, doing selfless service for the sake of the others. From the aspersion, criticism, bandying by people, we beg you again to promote the economy of the country and also the growth in various fields of science, technology and arts, so that India becomes a superpower. And just as you wished and often said that India would become the world teacher, that it should reach the heights in both temporal and spiritual fields, so that it could guide the other countries in the path of dharma. And Bhagwan, we beg you again, pray to you in all earnestness and sincerity for the unbroken remembrance of your leelas and ceaseless chanting of your mantra, powerful name. And we also beg you to bless us to be sattvic instruments in your hands. We don't want to be Duryodhanas, we want to be Dharmaputra, so that we could run our everyday life as an offering to you. And Bhagwan, bless us not to be ever caught by the snares of Maya. We also seek that ultimate state of bliss, the ultimate state of peace and supreme knowledge and we seek Your supreme grace, supreme blessing for it. But then we need to be purified and we take refuge in Your ceaseless chanting of Your name and the joy of Your service, be it small or big, without jealousy and complaints and all in the spirit of service in harmony with others. And again, the practice of acceptance of whatever life brings to us, be it a joy or sorrow, to be taken as a blessing, a definite blessing coming from You and meant for our spiritual growth, for our greater good and closer kinship with You, then we will be able to see Your living, vibrant, pulsating Presence everywhere in everything. And Bhagwan, please bless us to know that it is Your Sankalpa, Your will and Your grand plan that's behind all the happenings of the world, that is activating the whole cosmos into movement. We also beg You to bless us, to be able to detect that hidden grace present even in the most disastrous happenings of life. And You do it 
only for our spiritual growth. Even though we complain and resent, saying that you have singled us out for this great, for this devastating experience, yet it is we who invite all these negativities by our past karmas, and you, by your compassion and generosity, keep us in, our, in your fold and convert all the difficulties into definite blessings. We beg you, Bhagavan, to bless us, to be grateful to you, even for the adversities of life. And we seek your blessings for all the species of the cosmos, in whatever state of misery they are, to be lifted to a higher plane. And finally, we who have been seeking only solutions to our endless problems that arise like waves, the samsaric ocean, we seek now dissolution so that we be free from the vicious cycle of births and deaths. And to be so, we need to be free from the tyranny of the ego, the I and mind that rules everybody's life. Bhagwan, please bless us for that eternal living and eternal servitude to You, that supreme eternal power. Jai Yogi Ram Thank <laughs> you.